Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create one test case using Playwright. So Playwright test is basically a tool for doing end-to-end -end testing of front-end or UI interfaces. So Playwright supports all modern rendering engines including Chromium, WebKit and Firefox. We can also use it to test applications on Windows, Linux and macOS locally or on CI. We can operate Playwright in headless as well as in headed mode with mobile emulation of Google Chrome for Android and mobile Safari. So now let's go to our VS code and see how we can install Playwright. So first of all, you have to create one folder inside which you are going to write all the test cases. So in my case, it's Playwright underscore demo. You can create this. And after that, you have to write NPM in it, Playwright at the rate latest. So after this, you have to hit enter. And now it's going to take some time to install all the packages and all the modules. So it's going to ask you whether you want to go with TypeScript or JavaScript. I'm going to go with JavaScript where you would like to put your end-to-end -end tests. It's going to be in the tests folder. This is fine with me. Add a GitHub Actions workflow. No, I don't want to add it for now. And install Playwright browsers. Yes. So now it's going to initialize all the things for us. You can see. So it's going to install all the things. So you can see that it has also given us the commands which we can run. And also if I expand this folder, you will be able to see that we have got a lot of folders here. The first one is node modules. And the next one is the tests folder where we are going to write all our test cases. The extension is going to be like this dot spec dot js. And this is another folder tests examples. And also we have the git ignore and package lock package JSON and all this other files. Okay. So now that our setup is ready. Now let's write a test case. So I'm going to create one new file. So as you can see, I have created a new file called testing one.spec.js. So inside this, I have written some test cases, which I'm going to discuss with you one by one. So the first one is the test where we are going to test one application. So basically, let me go to the application first. So this is a basic application which you can find on this URL. So this is the application in which you have to log in with the username and password which are given over here and then you will be able to see some items. It's basically like an e-commerce website where you can run all your UI tests. So let me log in first. using the credentials over here. Okay, so after logging in, you will be able to see all these things. So after you have seen this application, let me come back to this VS code. And okay, so this is the file where we are going to write the test cases. First, you have to write this const test expect require playwright slash test. So this is common for all the test files which you are going to create inside this tests folder. So the first test over here is that we're going to check whether the web application has the title Swag Labs. So we are going to check whether this page over here has the title Swag Labs. So for this, we have defined one test case and we have given the name as has title. We are going to define the fixture as page over here and declare one constant URL by the name of home page. And after that, we are going to go to that home page and expect the page to have the title which resembles Swag Labs. So after writing this test case, we are also going to check, we're going to log in using this script over here and we are going to check whether the URL after getting logged in the web application resembles this or not. So after logging in, the URL will be something like this, saucedemo.com 
slash inventory dot html so in this as you can see we have the word inventory so we are going to check whether the url has inventory or not and apart from this i have created some other test cases as well so the third one also is related to that web application only in which we are going to check the heading so this is the script for that we have configured the username password by using this locators and also we have used the constant variable heading and passed its locator and after that we are going to check whether the heading has the text products so if i go back to the page as you can see we are going to check whether this page over here has products in this location so how we have basically defined the locators is you have to go to dev tools control shift i and then you have to click on this and you have to hover over the particular element whose expath you actually want to have so i have hovered over this products and let me right click on it and copy the expath copy expath and after that i have pasted it over here so this is the expath for that header and similarly i have copied the expath for the username password and as well as the login button as well okay so after the third test case the fourth fifth and sixth test cases are not related to the web application but it basically is for checking whether a particular string has a particular substring or not and whether a particular number equals to another number and whether true is equal to true so the first one i have created one string kubernetes and docker and checked whether this string has a substring called docker or not and after that i have checked whether the particular number 200.9 is equal to 201 this is obviously going to fail we will see that after running the test cases and the third one is we are going to check whether true is equal to true okay so with that being said i have saved this file control s and after this i am going to run this file okay so as you can see that in this test folder we have another file also example.spec.j so whenever i run this it's going to run uh, it's going to execute all the test cases in this file also so let me run the command npx playwright tests okay so as you can see it's running all the 24 tests using the four workers so basically the four workers are chromium webkit and all those kind of browsers so as you can see it's running 12 out of 24 test cases are already done and it's going to finish running all the test cases present in both the files okay so it has opened the playwright test report so you can sometimes it doesn't open it so you can uh, see the report by typing npx playwright show reports so as it has already opened it let us inspect what all test cases have failed and passed so in this testing one.spec.js as i told you that the numeric equality check test case is going to fail because 200.9 is not going to be equal to 201 and apart from that all the other things have passed and the example.spec.js file has also got its test cases passed okay so this is how you can create one simple file in which you can have some test cases according to your need so you can get all the relevant information about playwright and how you can write more complex test cases in front-end framework and ui by going through this documentation over here this is the installation part you can go over here in the writing test section and you can see what all functions playwright has to offer you for doing ui testing and you can go through all these guides and other things as well in this in this url 
okay so i will give you the link for this url in the description of this video so that's all from this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed then don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for getting more tech related content so that's all i will meet you in the next video until then stay safe and keep exploring